everyone welcome back to my channel Yee! today we're gonna do randomly wing it i don't know what i'm doing but i'm gonna just i just wanted to record something it's sunday and I, it's my day off and i just decided to record a video and i have this shirt it's like a crop top like you can't really wear anything with it that's why I'm, i don't have that big of a frame because i don't you know i'm a little like self-conscious and i'm also like i feel naked like that's why i always wear like covering up clothes because I feel naked when I, when I don't um, like at work I always wear like you know covered up clothes I can wear tight dresses but like they have to be long sleeve and they have to be like I don't know I'm just weird like that 21 too and I got my nails fixed yesterday because I had broken one and um, I just get coffin shape <laughs> and then this nail polish is from Gabby I need to ask her what it is because I don't know I don't have it but it's really pretty she painted them for me so Thanks, Gabby. And, yeah, I don't have extensions in yet. I'm going to wear some maybe. I don't know. But my hair is really short and hmm, I need to, like, put coconut oil in it because it's getting ugly. So, yeah, let's just get to the video. Let's see what I'm going to come up with. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so to start off, I'm going to, like, trim my little eyebrow hairs because they're a little long right now. I'm just going to go in here and trim it like it's grass, you know, like that. That was it. That was all I needed to do. Um, so I'm going to prime my face. I recently went to the to the Sephora. I went to Sephora to get a primer because I had run out. And I really like this one. The Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer. The Smoothing Primer. I don't know. It works well with my skin. Mm, I like it. It's a little pricey though. But yeah, I'm going to just prime my face real quick. A little bit. What I'm probably going to do... Probably gonna straighten my hair and just have it straight with my extensions because I don't know my Instagram pictures have been looking pretty the same looking you know what I mean like they look the same like if it wasn't for like the different eyeshadow it would look the same like I think it's my hair that's making it look the same and it's kind of annoying because they're totally different looks totally different products but my hair just the fact that it's the same style same color just makes it look like it's the same picture you know what I mean so that's annoying. So I'm just doing my eyebrows right now. I'm filling them in with Caramel by Anastasia. Good. So my intention era hacerlo en español todo, pero empecé a hacerlo luego se me olvidó. So ahorita nomás estoy haciendo mis cejas con el powder de Anastasia que se llama Caramel. Y déjenle pago mi teléfono. Voy a hacer mis cejas primero. No sé qué voy a hacer todavía. Se me va a salir. Me lo voy a inventar. Pero les estaba diciendo ahorita que me voy a planchar el pelo más, más lacio con mis extensiones. Porque si no, siento que todas mis fotos en Instagram se están viendo igual. Como porque creo que es el pelo. Se me ve igualito las fotos. Aunque te, el maquillaje es completamente diferente. Se ve igualita. So, yeah. Okay, so time for our eyes. We're going to go in with the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia. I really want to do something cut creasy. Is that a word? Cut creasy? I'm gonna grab just a clean brush. I just had one. Hmm. And I'm gonna grab this warm taupe color. Um. Okay, so now for our cut crease, I'm gonna grab. Um, some type of hard but small brush, some sort of brush like this. And I'm going to grab Cypress Umber, it's called. This really chocolate, yet... Yeah. Oh, it's so pigmented. Oh my god. Okay. I'm going to carve out my cut crease. Um, if you don't have a crease, definitely go up and um, make a crease, you know. I have one here, but I want to make it more obvious i'm gonna go to my my the last fold in my lid here and go off of that and wing it out at the end just to give me the shape first see? so then i'm gonna grab another brush and i'm gonna blend that out a little bit okay so now as far as defining that cut crease i'm gonna go in with my concealer that i've been using for my eyebrows this one specifically it's the anastasia 2.0 this part is where you want to make sure that you're making a line 
defined and straight as possible. Okay, after I did that, I'm going to go in with more of that warm taupe. And I'm trying to blend out that top line. So it's not too harsh at the edge. But as far as the lid, I'm going to go in with the Renaissance palette. And I'm going to grab hmm, Vermeer. I was going to do Primavera. Primavera, whatever. But this one's prettier. And I'm going to put it all over my lid. And the concealer is definitely going to help us keep that on there. So, right. So as far as the crease area, I'm going that I'm going to get that brown again, and just deepening up the crease. Um. covers up my moles and I really like my moles so sorry that does not blend in very well so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, get a little tiny brush and get a little bit of uh, a dark shadow and I'm gonna go in and like touching up my moles I'm gonna lick my brush a little bit and I have three moles in a row here that I always get lost with my makeup. And I'm just gonna go over all my moles. These three too. It's kinda weird but mm, they're moles and I want them to come out. Mm, moles, moles, okay. Andrólogos Diamante Records Hi guys, so this is the final look. I'm gonna keep this color on. I think it's very pretty. The the top definitely inspired this look, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know what else to say, but that I'll see you guys in another video, hopefully soon. Okay, este es el look final. Me voy a quedar con este labial porque está más bonito que los de que el otro pienso yo, no sé pero muchas gracias por mirar mi video los veo en otro video muy siguiente no sé cuándo, a lo mejor entre la semana, no sé pero muchas gracias por todo su apoyo por todo lo que me dicen todos los días y 
Nos vemos en otro video. Bye, gracias. So this is where I'm deciding what lashes to wear. I'm just sort of putting them on top. These are Queen Bee for, from Coco Lashes and then these are Power and Pandemonium. Powder and Pandemonium. Alexandra. Yes. Okay, so I'm either going to go with Alexandra from Powder and Pandemonium or Quimby from Coco Lashes. These are very...